Okay. All right. On the Skype or on the phone with us uh, is John Pomery. He's the outreach director for Yes California. John, how are you doing today in, in COVID-19 emergency situation? Uh, I've been preparing for it for a long time, so I'm doing great. How about you? Very good, very good. Well, I'd like to ask you about a little bit of controversy we got right now. So recently, Twitter went wild with CalExit. Uh, in fact, the highest Twitter topic talked about in the last couple of days has been CalExit. It was so big that Cal Matters, the policy journal for Sacramento, had to, for the first time in a while, mention people are talking about CalExit. And we got slammed in the Sacramento Bee in Washington Times, et cetera, and a couple other people. But this is the key question I'd like to ask you, John. You were there 2017. You've been an outreach director. You've also traveled around California. You saw the video that I wrote to the people of Iran. Well, it was a group project and blah, 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 collaboration and yes, people. When I was talking about how Californians don't like the U.S. military, don't love invasions and blowing things up. Don't necessarily agree with every other government, but just fundamentally don't share the American culture of I'm going to threaten to shoot you versus a California way of I want to talk to you. Was I saying things that are out of line with the movement you've seen over time or with, frankly, what Californians say on an average Sunday? Absolutely, or they Absolutely not. Nothing okay. new. Nothing, uh, yeah, I, I can't think of anything. I, I watched the video. I engaged with, uh, with the Twitter storm that was happening yesterday morning. Um, I woke up yesterday morning and rolled over and told my wife, Cal Exit is trending right now. I, I think we made it. And uh, it, it, it's just been a whirlwind since then. Um, all of the work that... It, I've been doing and many of the people that I work with have been doing for the last now 20 years now since uh, since the Supreme Court appointed George W. Um, we all kind of knew it was a sham. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm still kicking myself for allowing myself to get sucked into the 2016 Bernie campaign and thinking that they would actually let democracy rule in this country and uh, fool me once. I didn't get suckered this time and and uh, yeah, that nothing new is being said. We're uh, we're just aligning, as always, with the progressive voices who are anti uh, oligarchy, anti um, jingoism, belligerent foreign policy, anti um, a federal government that doesn't represent Californians or the rest of the people in the United States um, as a whole. So. The, okay. uh, the, the attacks from you are the attacks from the SAC B on you um, are are just uh, you know par for the course. They can't attack yeah. us on the platform, so they have to do a character assassination. It's the same thing they did to Bernie. It's the same thing they do to anybody who has uh, who speaks the truth. Uh, I mean, they did it to Tulsi Gabbard, right? They silenced her uh, after yeah. she uh, kneecapped Kamala Harris. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they, they, they really pushed that. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard's a Russian spy, although there's no evidence of that narrative. Yeah. And I loved how they go on TV going, well, I don't have any evidence, but yeah. you're a spy. And they just would say it. I was like, hey, at least you're honest. I mean, they, they, they don't care about hiding it. Anymore. It's just straight up, do whatever you're going to do, say whatever you want. Uh, after, after Trump ordered the assassination of uh, General Soleimani, um, I personally wrote a letter to the Ayatollah um, apologizing for, um, for what, what happened and also um, pleaded with him for assistance in uh, Cal Exit. So when you made that video, it was just icing on the cake. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's the Yes California Outreach Director uh, said that. And, and John... Tell me if this is different. Um, Soleimani was behind getting some U.S. troops killed. Of course, that's wrong. But in California, when Donald Trump ordered his execution, 
Californians were not for that. They thought it was reckless. He was going to start another war. And, and so when we condemn the acts of Trump against Soleimani, we're not saying, hey, we think Soleimani is doing everything great. What we're saying is that's American militarism that we Californians don't want to be part of. That's what I saw in California when Soleimani was killed by Trump. Is that what you saw of Californians at the same time? A hundred percent. I mean, I, I live in, in a bit of a bubble um, I, I only surround myself with people who have uh, forward-thinking, progressive ideas. Uh, they're not stuck in this uh, nonsense duopoly, lesser of two evils, vote blue no matter who, uh, anybody but a damn nonsense. Um, you know, we've been going back and forth with this for, I, I don't, it's ad nauseum. Like, it's time for something new. And, you know, we've been preparing people for something new all this time. And, you know, it's just a matter of time before uh, this thing catches fire. All right, let's stop there. I'm going to start a new recording. All right.